show. So until next week in ink. That was this week in ink. Oh, and we're out. Good show, bud. Yeah, that one was really good. The live chat was amazing, as always. Good reveals, too. I was a little surprised with how much you digged Helga. Was she a bit of a baby Brandon crush, maybe? Dude, she's still <laughs> a Brandon crush. I absolutely love the character, and I'm stoked that she's both in Lorcana and just everybody from Atlantis is in Lorcana for this set. I, I forget sometimes that I'm a bit older than you, so the... The feelings that you're having for Helga, they were for like Jasmine and Megara for me. Yeah, dude, you're really missing out if you haven't seen Atlantis yet. It's like one of my top five favorite Disney movies at this point. I mean, I've definitely seen it, but it, there's a good chance it has been like 15 years. So I say, well, just for you, I'm going to go and watch it. Well, what do you think? I get it. She's the goat. <laughs> I told you. I really love her Steel Challenger card coming into the game. But if I'm being honest, I kind of wish she got something a little bit more spicy. Hmm. Okay. Say so what? Thought experiment. What kind of thing would you like to see? I mean, she is a villain in the movie. Um, and Emerald's getting some pretty fun stuff this set. So I think I would want something like that to start. Okay, I can see that. An emerald villain card. I can get behind that. Um, I tell you it would be amazing. Like, if we were got to reveal something like this, how good would it be if it was, like, a super rare? Because I don't think anyone's got to reveal a super rare yet on YouTube. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't remember any creators that have revealed a super rare card yet. But I think the most important thing would be her butt. Excuse me? Her willpower. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her, her willpower has to be big enough that she can get through the early game and all the damage removal we've seen so far. So what are you thinking, a four on the butt? Yeah, a, a four sounds pretty good. I think that would be, be enough. And strength to match? Yeah, I mean, it's got to, right? Like, if, if we're going to do this, we might as well match four, four, strength and willpower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think uh, that would make for some really good mid-game fun so maybe something like a five cost okay five cost is four four i can see it um it is emerald though so it has to be uninkable if it's going to be any good yeah i mean it, if it's going to be emerald it has to be an uninkable card that's like a natural law mm -hmm. um but to offset that we could make her a floodborne and then give her shift three maybe that way oh. we can get her out a little bit early shift three four four is pretty good um uh, we needed a quest well in that case then. How are you thinking maybe two lore? Yeah, if it was any less than that, you know, I think it would be a little disappointing. So two lore for sure to quest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you know what would be like even better? Oh yeah? What if what if she had an ability that happened when she quest as well? Oh wow. An ability on quest with a floodborne is pretty strong because it means they can do it the turn they come out as long as you shifted them. Uh, what sort of thing are you thinking? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's a villain. Maybe she could deal damage? What if she dealt three damage when she quests? Brandon, that is absolutely broken. Even <laughs> for this made-up card <laughs> that we're just doing for fun as a thought experiment. That's way too strong. Okay, I'll, I'll concede. Three damage when she quests and a shiftable Floodborne character, that's probably a little bit too strong. What if we instead balance that a little bit by making it so the character had to be damaged? Mm, so she could deal three damage to an already damaged character. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could get behind that because, you know, she could, do some, she could do some really good stuff if she came down after a giant tink or something like that. Yeah, I could mm -hmm. get behind it. Do you know what would be amazing as well? Like, even if we ever got to reveal this character, Card, if that ability was called this changes everything we could make the video where we reveal it called this changes everything and we wouldn't be telling a lie no that would be golden we could like milk that as far as possible make oh. everybody think some crazy thing is happening in Lorcana okay. with our card reveal let's do it let's milk it for a whole week 
Yeah, dude, we can do it for a whole week. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next week then. <laughs> All right, Dante, I'll catch you next week. <laughs>